Hi, good evening everyone. So I hope my audio and video is fine. Can you just give me a quick thumbs up to check whether the audio and video is fine? Hi, good evening, good evening, caffeine. And starting with the chat with a nice caffeine. <laughs> yes, okay, thank you. All right, so um, guys, almost uh, uh, four months left for the exam. And if we go by the original NEET PG date, you would have been free by this particular time. But now <coughs> the um exam has been delayed to 7th of july so we have these so called welcome or for some unwelcome four months available for us but uh, i always believe that anything that is happening is happening for the good so uh, let us capitalize this opportunity to take best out of this and i believe that um, a lot of time the challenges that we are facing is that that when there is a crunch of time that you do not understand what to read but when there is an extra time then you also you do not understand what to read and then we tend to lose a lot of time you you are coming across a um, um, lot of videos where everybody is saying that for how much days you have to read anatomy for pathology i have also shared a lot of schedules uh, so that you can utilize your uh, this time in a good way but on the request of uh, lot of students today in this video i will be talking about that how you can effectively utilize your day uh, this has been a very very big challenge ki, sir aapne bol to diya char din anatomy padni hai but i am not able to capitalize the day and and a uh, lot of time people say ki sir are we kids and ki somebody has to tell us ki din mein kya karna hai yes that is how a lot of students need a guidance about how to effectively utilize a day. So if you are not amongst those who are not kids, who know how to utilize your day, you can utilize this time to do some activities. However, if you are looking for somebody who can tell you that, sir, I have complete day available with me, but I do not know how to effectively utilize this, this video is for you. And I'm sure that this is going to be uh, very, very helpful for all of you. Okay. So um, in this video, it will be a very short video. And in this video, we will be talking about a uh, day's planner for NEET PG preparation that how you can effectively plan your day. All right. Please let me know if you have any query, please put it on to the comment section and I would uh, try if you are attending it live, I will answer it live. But if you are watching the recorded version of this video on the DBMCI YouTube channel, uh, then put it on the comment and I will try to answer it. Okay. For those who do not know me, my name is Dr. Rajat Jain and I teach radiology at Dr. Bhatia Medical Institute and guiding and mentoring students almost uh, for two decades now. So let's see this. So there are certain general tips that I believe. And the first tip is that please have a sound sleep. Sir, a lot of people ask me, sir, at this time, how much time should, should I sleep? I believe that at your age, which I assume is somewhere between 22 year to 30 year of age, um, a sleep between 6 hours to 7 hours is sufficient. If you're sleeping for more than that, try to reduce it by 15 minutes a day so that you can come into this bracket of 6 hour to 7 hour. A lot of time people say, Ki, sir, nahi, what about that 8 hour, 8 hour, 8 hour rule? Uh, that rule is applicable for uh, people of my age who have crossed the fourth decade and now have entered into the fifth decade. But at your age, in the decade of 20 to 30, I feel that a six to seven hour of sleep is sufficient. Even at in this fifth decade, <clears throat> I try to sleep between six to seven hours a day. So I think this is looking, um, uh, this, is, this is sorted, all right? Then second thing is that try to drink at least two to three liter of water. I mean, being medico, I don't think I need to uh, tell you the advantage of doing this, but in spite of being medicos, we do not take care of it. One of the biggest advantage that I have learned it apart from many other health benefit is that you feel less sleepy in the day. I mean, uh, 
I am I'm sure that a lot of you will not agree to me, but I am telling you that this work. Whenever you are feeling sleepy, people say drink coffee, drink tea. No, I say no. This will bring more acidity. You are already into stress. That is going to add more to your stress. Drink decent amount of water, and you will see the magic of water. Everything is gonna gonna go. All right. Then limit use of social media, sir. What are you talking? We are seeing this video on a social media. I am saying not to eliminate it. Limit use of social media, and that we gonna talk in our video also. Not too much of coffee and tea. Lot of people use uh, coffee to um, to uh, so that they remain focused and they uh, remain. Uh, um, um, I mean, uh, uh, not sleepy. But I feel that. um it adds more to the acidity and uh, it waste suddenly two or three days you get headache um you get um, i mean a lot of lot of challenges so try to limit the use of that and and obviously try to have um, a lot of time the biggest challenge in your preparation that lot of people tell me ki sir i have gained 10 kg or 12 kg of the weight so uh, you have to maintain balance on that um that can be either by consuming um by by spending energy or by eating less energy and right? so calorie calorie control is the best way and right? we all are doctors we are aware of that so try to have a balanced diet with less sugar or oily food that will have an added advantage that which will make you less sleepy and last but my favorite point is no negative thoughts please remember no no negative thoughts should come to your mind try to remain with a positive mind setup try to remain that yes i am doing it i am working hard and i am definitely definitely gonna crack it daily one coffee is good or one coffee is okay i'm talking about about having 6 7 cups of tea 6 7 cups of coffee that that should not be uh, done not able to drink more water dear try and try and i'm telling you it's not like that you are drinking half a liter of water and suddenly you start drinking 3 liter of water that is not gonna uh be possible just keep a water bottle with you and i am telling you it's it's like that how snacking happen something you are sitting on a dining table snacks are there in front of you keep on eating and so just keep a water bottle in front of you then you gonna realize that your water intake has increased okay uh can you throw some light on undergraduate guide to need pg which i will be now more active on the uh youtube i was almost out of action for some um, for some days but now you gonna see so that will be doing as a separate uh separate session on the youtube channel all right uh but how to reduce sleep latency i feel that try to decrease by 15 minutes a day now you are sleeping for 9 hours and suddenly you will try that now i want to sleep for 6 and a half hour that is not going to happen that 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 doesn't happen all right these are the overall goals and that that you have to achieve so these are the general tips now let us talk about how to utilize your day so if i consider that you are sleeping from 6 hours to 7 hours broadly you have around 17 to 18 hours left in your day so now let us try to talk about that how to uh, utilize those 17 or 18 hours in a day all right uh, i being in spite of being a doctor i try not to use medications as much as possible all right so i have seen it that if you going to follow the general tips the challenges with the sleep challenges with the um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, stress challenges with acidity are going to automatically go all right so now this is a sample schedule that i have prepared for you i feel the try to get up by 8 o'clock Uh, now people have different habit some people read in the night some people read it in the day so i am talking about those people who predominantly sleep in the night all right so try to get up at 8 o'clock 8 to 8:45 get ready have your breakfast just try to make sure that you are having breakfast before that 8:45 to 9 is our favorite time attend oto session for those who do not know oto Oto is a one to one mentorship program where um, either me or Dr. Praveen or any other faculty of DBMCI come on a Zoom session and guide and mentor you that how you can utilize your day with the positive thought in a most effective way and why it is important for you to study together. Why it is important for you to study today? आज क्यों पढ़ना है? है ना? And 
a lot of activities that we do try that how you are uh, using your time wow which subject you can read we provide structure schedule all right so this is auto a complimentary program for all dbmca students who are a part in the current um, in the current year preparing for the neat pg exam those who are not can also join separately all right so it's zoom session 8 45 to 9 daily except sunday all right so those who are not attending auto they just make sure that by nine o'clock they are ready and on their chair nine to eleven is your two hour first session you can read notes you can attend video lecture whichever area that you have decided you have selected you can attend that all right then it's a good point to take a break all right so the what we're going to follow is two hour 15 minutes break two hour 15 minutes break so take a break for 15 minutes and then again take a two hour session and a two hour session again read notes attend video lecture you want to revise something but this is for theory these two sessions that we are doing is for theory at 1 15 is my lunch plus break time now this break can be utilized to do whatever that you want along with eating food you can have some light fun on social media jokes comedy insta updates my suggestion to everyone is that even for the social media try to avoid the negative content of the social media and social media has got different kind of content try to remain in a positive mind frame um, attend some uh, want to see some reels you can do that but more of fun related reels uh, that have a good positive impact on you all right then somebody wants to take a power nap for 15 minutes half an hour you can do that also 2 to 4 pm is again my two hour session of again notes and video lecture then a 15 minute break and then again a two hour session of notes and video lecture so this is gonna give you eight hour of theory if you are already done theory very very well then this time can be utilized to do questions it depends on how much you are scoring in the gt but eight hour trust me if you are putting up this there is no power who can snatch a rank from you you are definitely getting a rank without a doubt 6 15 to 7 15 is your me time it's your time it's your time nobody will take this time for you you can use it for anything that makes you happy but shouldn't make you too tired talk to your friend you want to talk on phone you want to listen to music you want to play game you want to pursue a hobby whatever that you want to do you want to do exercise but just try that you are not very very tired in this because there is more that is left for the day all right then we will have another two hour session for doing questions questions 9 15 to 10 is your dinner plus break time again same what we repeated in the lunch you want to have some fun activity lunch should not take more than 15 to 20 minutes rest of the 20 to 25 minutes can be used to do whatever that you want 10 o'clock i call it as one hour a day revision one hour a day revision whatever subject that you have read ha uh, a week back or a 10 day back utilize this time to do that revision all right if you think that you are forgetting too much you can increase this time if you think that no the things are going as per your wish just keep one hour one hour a day revision and 11 pm to till you drop some people will be sleeping for six hour some people will be sleeping for seven hour those who are sleeping for seven hour they can sleep at 12 30 to 1 those who are sleeping or uh, sleeping for less they can probably read for a slightly bigger time and that's how your day is gonna be i can tell you that one size doesn't fit all but if you are struggling with a daily planner if you are struggling with a daily schedule this is definitely definitely gonna help you a lot and I, I i do not think just give me a sec yeah this is definitely gonna help you a lot and it is gonna add a new energy to your uh, to your preparation do let me know and in in other videos i'm gonna come up with more schedules with you this time i have sp talked spoken about how you can utilize your day then in the next video we will be talking about that how individual subject can be planned in a more effective way all right please write it in the comment section what kind of videos that you want from me and from now till your need pg exam i am with you 
please write it in the comment section that what kind of videos that you feel that you want to see in your break time which is making you positive which is helping you in cracking the exam and at dbmci youtube channel we're gonna bring those videos to you all right take care and may god bless you all